first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number seven on the topic percentages so here we are going to see where you can able to find this 440 questions and how to start practicing it so this will be the last lesson on the topic percentages so if you are a regular follower or feel free to learn you guys know that totally we have posted six videos on the topic percentages so starting from the basics and ending with sixth lesson that is on the marks concept so where in this total six lesson we have learned all the basics as well as all the important concepts on the topic percentages and this will be the last lesson on the topic percentage and you guys know that this topic percentage playlist will be the rank 5 on our uh, feel free to learn youtube channel because a rank 1 total views and total likes when we count the total views and the total likes where we can see the syllogism is the first rank on feel free to learn and this topic percentage is the fifth rank i think second rank will be time and work time and distance so this will be the fifth rank on the feel free to learn channel so now before seeing where you can able to find all these 440 questions so first we can see the overview of this percentage topic so lesson number one we have learned introduction about the topic percentages where we have learned all the basic stuff on the topic percentage and second is lesson number two that is basic question so in case if you are preparing for railway exams or campus interview or ssc exams where you can able to find small small medium question so that is lesson number two we have seen some of the basic level questions on the topic percentages and then lesson number three what percentage which is most important on the topic data interpretation x is what percentage of y x is what percentage more or less than y so all those stuff we have seen in this lesson number three and then we have seen salary based upon salary i'm getting this much of salary and from that salary my expense is two percentage my food that i have spent is 10 percentage so transport is 20 percentage so what will be my savings or what will be my expenditure so all those questions we have seen there right and the next lesson will be based upon otis election otis college election so most most important concept if you take any previous year question papers of bank exams prelims exam or cat exams get exams some aptitude question or upsc exams you can definitely able to see this so there are uh, two candidates election between two candidates so winner got 68 percentage and loser got 20 20 percentage and the majority of the vote will be 1200 something so by giving all these data our target is to find how much the vote that was got by the winner so these kinds of questions where you can able to see in the lesson that is based on otis and then last lesson that is previous lesson we have seen that is based on marks and a student got 30 percentage of the mark from the total but he got failed by 20 marks you can able to see these kinds of questions more in ssc exams and even a little bit twist questions you can able to see with five star level rating where you can able to see in the bank exams right so this six lessons previous six lesson is more than enough on the topic percentages so now you guys require practice this was the uh, main question that was the major question asked by many students on my youtube channel i have learned all this but where can i go and practice all these questions so now here you can able to see we have uploaded 440 questions on my test series if you already purchased the test i know that many students have purchased it so in the first session that is in quantitative aptitude click on it in the eighth topic eighth or ninth topic you can able to see the percentage so there you can able to find the 15 test one five test and each test will contain 25 25 questions and there out of this 440 questions we have given you all the questions here and remaining some sort of question we will give you in the test series so once you purchase the test series i think most of the students have already purchased it but if you didn't do that kindly go to my website feelfreetolearn.com there you can able to find common eligibility test so once you buy the test series you can able to access all the tests right so you can able to write quantitative aptitude you can able able to learn daily current affairs as well as you can able to learn that SBA exams, IBBS, PO exams, SSE exams, so everything question papers we have uploaded there. 
so don't forget to purchase the test series i never uh, insist anyone to purchase purchase but this is the time i am insisting you to purchase the test series why because if you want that practice question no other way once you purchase it you can able to find all sort of aptitude question so that will be more helpful once you learn the sixth lesson and then come to the test series practice all the 15 practice set then you will feel that uh, the the real way of learning and practicing so now you can practice any sort of after writing all the 15 tests so just uh, take any memory based question papers or various bank exams or a campus interview question papers and you try to solve the percentage question definitely you can able to solve so that's the thing we want from the students because if you are like learning for more than six months or one year for any competitive exams where i have seen many students can't able to clear the exams because of lack of practice on each topic right they have practiced the prelims exam they have practiced under 200 questions for the exams but they didn't practice the topic wise uh, test so that's the reason we have given you a separate separate topic test so now today we have uploaded the percentage topic so students those who already purchased the test so go to our dashboard and try to practice your test series and if you are newly purchasing it don't forget to purchase the test series and start practicing for the upcoming exams so thank you so much for watching this video so see you in the next topic and the next questions practice questions so thank you so much for watching this video bye